You may think you already know the story of the Pacific Islands, our narrative of the rising seas, climate change's impacts on our livelihoods and very existence, and how we need the most carbon-polluting nations to take action. This narrative, though, can create the appearance that we are merely waiting to be saved, that we are helpless and standing idly by. We are anything but. We are adapting. We are fighting. When climate change isn't staring you down in the face, it is easy to forget. Well, I am the walking and talking reminder that came here all the way from the Pacific Islands of the Federated States of Micronesia to make sure we don't forget. For the past, for the past five years, I've been a part of an amazing team that makes it our daily mission to help Micronesian communities take a proactive and resilient role in adapting to climate change and preparing for natural disasters through education. We've been blessed to work in over 62 schools and 57 communities, teaching over 10,000 students and training 500 teachers. We've brought together over 20,000 people in our community work. This education has resulted in physical projects like rainwater catchment tanks that capture an additional 48,500 gallons of water across 10 schools and solar panel installations across five schools that add 8,460 watts of power in these remote communities. But this isn't about numbers, it's about people. The Kaje program is dedicated to teaching our Micronesian people about the threats of climate change. But for me personally, it's ultimately about raising a generation of young Micronesians knowledgeable of this reality, because if we don't stand up for ourselves, then who will? I've been doing this year after year, island after island, village after village, school after school, and I am always in awe of the amazing fortitude of the people and students I work with. I've seen it in the farmers who are amending their lifetime of traditional agricultural practices, employ raised taro beds for the first time. I've seen it when dozens of women in my village came together and planted pandanus trees all along the coast to protect our shoreline. I've seen it in the stubborn fishermen who are trying to feed their families, throw fish back into the sea when they know it's too small. I've seen it in the way our elders pass down to us local wisdom and traditional knowledge that Western science can never replace. I've seen it when my students learn words like biodiversity or conservation for the first time and their eyes light up when they realize that these are grown-up words that they can own too. You see, it's not just about the big and expensive solutions. It's usually the smallest steps that make the biggest difference. I'm not going to stand here. I'm not going to stand here and pretend that I have all the answers because I don't. What I do know is that climate change is not just our problem. No, we are co-owners, co-creators, and co-authors in this story, and it can have a very different ending from what I fear. But only if in addition to what we're doing back home, our global community pours the same amount of energy, time, and effort into investing in renewable energy technology the same way we did as reinventing the same iPhone over and over again. And if we give half as much attention to <laughs> airing... And if we give half as much attention to airing the untold stories of indigenous people struggling to preserve their oceans as we did as reality TV garbage like Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And if we get serious about passing legislation that holds the private sector accountable to sustainable development as we did as making a profit. There is no doubt of humanity's greatness, of our brilliance, of our resilience, of our ability to defy all odds and make the impossible possible. We've cured diseases, we've explored space, we've made access to information instantaneous, but at what cost? If people say technology and development have put us in this hole that we see now with climate change, then I'm sure it can pull us back out. 
I've never doubted humanity's immeasurable greatness and our ability to overcome. I'm sure as heck not gonna start now. So one young world, leave here and show me that I'm not wrong. Show me that we can work together. Show me that greatness that I know is in all of us. And let's change this course together. Thank you.